All right, so this is exciting. I saw this thing featured, I guess it was at Computex recently, and amazingly, it's on the desk already. Like this, of course, the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. It's a dual screen laptop. We've talked about these various screen implementations. This is this new modern take on what a laptop could be, might be. Let's take a look at it. Plus, apparently, they're giving you horsepower too, so. I'm gonna put that down for a minute. There's a pen also included. So the screen is going to have pen input. Also this little wrist rest. Now the power adapter, pretty large, but the specs on this thing, my understanding, the specs are kind of powerhouse specs. So this one in front of me has a ninth gen Intel Core i9 and it also has GTX 2060 graphic. That's pretty wild for something with two displays. 4K UHD OLED main display and then LCD on the smaller display above the keyboard. Oh my goodness gracious, this is wild. Okay, Thunderbolt 3 over here, Type-C connector. We have a headphone jack, a traditional USB port over there, HDMI port, DC in, and then another traditional USB. Also looks like these are the speaker grills, which that's kind of a nice location for stereo separation. Looks like there's a grill there and a grill over on this side as well. Whoa. It elevates the deck of the, of the laptop for cooling purposes. So the fans, if you take a look here on the bottom of the device, you got the keyboard, chiclet style, down here at the very bottom part of the laptop deck. Now over here on the right is where your trackpad lives. It is glass and you're gonna have to figure out the trade-off, right? Obviously you're getting this giant display in here. So that might be worthwhile for you. Like I don't care if the track, where the trackpad is in exchange for that. Yeah, we're in. Whoa, that is strange. Look at this. It's kind of cool. It's like one continuous display here. And apparently the reason for LCD on the bottom portion, even though you have OLED on the top is because it cuts the reflections. This section down here is very matte. And look at that. It's magic. Whoa, that is so weird. There's Kawhi right there. Raps run has cost McDonald's millions in fries. Raptors Kawhi Leonard put McDonald's on the hook for 5.4 million and counting in free fries. McDonald's franchises in Eastern Can Canada finalized a sponsorship deal with the team for a free fry program 18 days before DeMar DeRozan was traded, two million orders of medium-sized French fries, clocking in at $5.4 million of free fries. <laughs> Jack, are you going in for free fries or what? Look at that, I'm reading off the second display here. Can I do this? Okay, take a tab, drag it up there. Now I got two, I'm double browsing immediately, just like that. It doesn't have to be just a browser. It's not just about having more than one window. It's also about multiple applications. Okay, fine, Corel Draw. Oh, wow, actually by default, opening it up, the tools go down here. Are you seeing this? And this is touchscreen, so I can just ruby red, light yellow. So let me get the pen out, might as well. So touchscreen on the top and also on the bottom. So now you got the tools, you got the palette. You're up here, you're down here, see that? What do you know about that? You never saw anything. Got the game playing over here. And then up top, I'm just browsing, you know? I'm just reading. Bradley Cooper, he's getting split up. Bradley Cooper, people are going gaga. Oh, Jack, speaking of body language, look at that. He's not impressed with a dual screen laptop. This is cool. Look at this. You're browsing, you're tweeting. I have the game over here. I got Bradley Cooper. And I got, and then I can also draw Bradley Cooper. I'm sketching because I'm looking at the real Bradley Cooper and look, the pen's working everywhere. This is futuristic, Jack. It's fun, it's different. If you really gotta get work done, you just go with this one and you're typing out the emails. Jack, I'm multitasking, you don't understand. This laptop also very powerful. Gaming capable, oh my goodness. So. With the Thunderbolt 3, you can also output dual 4K video signals, so you could get real wild with it. Intel Core i9, I think is the one that I have here. That's i9-9980, you get an i7, 32 gigs of RAM. The display up top, 15.6 inch OLED. So that's 3840 by 2160 up top. One terabyte PCIe SSD. The screen pad plus is 14 inch, also 4K, 3840 by 1100, close to two 4K displays 
in a package that folds up flat. Harman Kardon, audio system, endorsed. Does that mean much? We'll find out. Yesterday's show hmm. we speculated on what Google was going to say today. You know what? It's pretty wild having OLED on a laptop. There's way more color. The blacks, very deep. I like having a pen. I can just... I mean, OLED's just impossible to beat. This is why it took over the whole smartphone universe, and now it's making its way into laptops, including innovative, unusual ones. You know, moving windows around, being able to just have an extra spot for it. It's kind of, I mean, that's compelling on its own. Jack, take a look, dude. Can you imagine? You can't even handle all that multitasking. That's your future right there. You're not getting enough information right now. You need a video, you need Kawhi Leonard, you need Bradley Cooper, you need Lou Later. And what's this up here? Inside the private item. Will, you should come in here for this. I know you got a lot to say. Round of applause for Willie Doo because this thing's not even out yet. All the videos is just like people that were at Computex. And then Willie Doo was like, oh, oh, Lou, would you want, do you want that in the studio? Because no big deal. Like, Shout out to Ryan. He's the one who helped me with it. Are you? Yeah, I don't want to give all the credit to myself. It's actually mostly him. You're giving Ryan some credit? Yeah, man. He grinded it out. It's not often that a company's going to send out something early in its phases. You know, so, and for the record, we're kind of interpreting it through that lens. Mm -hmm. Because it's not out on the market yet. It's an early look. Mm -hmm. I think they really knocked it out. I mean, with this ambitious design, like, this is a powerhouse as well. Top, top tier specs. I mean, this is really cool. This is, honestly, I feel like this could be the start of, like, a new line of laptops. The start of something special. The second screen. Yeah. What do you think about the keyboard? You know, it's your chiclet style. More travel than a MacBook, but you don't want to get me started on keyboards. Well, look at that right there. I think it's really cool, man. They you didn't know. tell us anything about price, did they? It's got to no. be expensive. No no price availability yet. No price. How much do you think it'll well, be? Well, it's got to be over 2 Gs for sure. Okay, yeah. I, I think so say, too. Yeah. 20, it might even be close to three. It might be. That's an ultra wide monitor down there. I would say the only thing I think people might be critical of or not like is the trackpad being on the right. Right. Since this is, in my opinion, it's in desktop replacement territory, like it's probably gonna be in a single place or like two or three places. Yeah. The idea of a mouse here probably comes into play. Yeah, exactly. Typical Asus. But it, it has some weight to it. I mean, it's two and a half kilos. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's two and a half kilos. But again, for this spec list, that's not that unusual. They're, they're trying. They're trying something different. You can't knock on them for that. So it's good for them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, well, end it. It's a pretty nice laptop. I think it might be actually the future. This one in particular is for a lot of people. I mean, you said it yourself. Could be for gamers. Could be for content creators. So, yeah, check it out. <laughs> Done. <laughs> What you think, man? What you think? <clears throat> he knows. Yeah. He knows.